Hello, everyone. My name is Jonathan Gavorki. I'm a general surgery resident at Texas Tech El Paso. Uh, I'd like to thank Sages for having me. And obviously, I'll be presenting on uh, trends and outcomes of MIS for GIS. So here's my seven second disclosure. So a brief introduction. Uh, every year, there's approximately 5,000 new cases of GIS in the US. Uh, approximately 60% of those are done in the stomach and 30% uh, are found in the small bowel. Um, the NCCN task force in 2010 found that uh, laparoscopic approach is actually uh, an accepted therapeutic strategy for uh, smaller tumor sizes. And uh, we found in the last decade, uh, MIS approaches were used more frequently. Um, and initial reports were actually showing that laparoscopic and open approaches had uh, comparable outcomes. Um, but uh, little was really studied upon for the perioperative and oncologic outcomes. So our aims were to uh, pretty much examine these trends for uh, MIS approach for GIST tumors, uh, for stomach and small bowel in particular. And uh, we also wanted to see if the laparoscopic or MIS approaches, uh, historically all those uh, good outcomes are translated to the larger tumor sizes. And uh, we also wanted to see if the outcomes for minimally invasive procedures, uh, uh, what the, pretty much what the outcomes were for those who underwent neoadjuvant uh, treatment or therapy. Uh, our methods included the NCDB between the um, 2010 and 2016, and uh, we studied uh, stomach and small bowel GIS. So our data yielded about 12,600 patients. Uh, 8,900 of those were from the stomach, and about 3,600 were from the small bowel. And if you look at that table on screen, uh, between 2010 and 16, we have a large increase in the uh, MIS approach for uh, gastrectomies, and a small but still significant uh, approach for uh, an increase in the enterectomies. This is a pretty busy table, so let's break it down. So we're actually looking at the stomach and small bowel GIS and the data in pertaining to those. If you look, we see that the uh, patients who underwent gastric GIS resections actually had smaller tumors when comparing to small bowel. We also see that the gastric GIS uh, were more associated with uh, negative surgical margins as well, and a uh, lower 30-day readmission in a gastric GIS than small bowel, but a similar 90-day mortality. Uh, getting that data now, separating it in terms of robotic, laparoscopic, and open, or MIS versus open, uh, we actually see uh, we had a larger data pool for gastric uh, GIS for MIS, so we only analyzed gastric rather than small bowel. And looking at the same data in a different approach, we saw that MIS actually had, uh, was more associated with negative surgical margins compared to open. And again, we see that uh, the MIS approach also had uh, less 30-day readmission rates and uh, lower 90-day mortality. Um, another interesting thing to think about is that smaller tumor sizes were more often associated with MIS approach and larger were with open. This isn't really rocket science. Um, but uh, now looking at the neoadjuvant treatment, we actually see that uh, patients who underwent MIS approach were less often to have uh, neoadjuvant uh, treatment. Let's turn our attention to survival data. We see that uh, historically the open approach was more often used, but whenever we look at the outcomes and the overall survival, it was actually comparable between MIS approach and open whenever you're considering the tumor size is greater than 10 centimeters. And uh, this is actually kind of interesting. The neoadjuvant therapy group actually had a, uh, a, like a worse overall survival, and you can actually see kind of like a demarcation at the three to four year mark where you see splitting of that, um, the trend. Uh, and this is in gastric GIS, but looking at the small bowel GIS, we actually see a similar trend uh, for those who underwent neoadjuvant therapy. And again, at the three to four year mark. Now, comparing MIS and open for those who underwent neoadjuvant therapy in the gastric GIS group, we actually see comparable overall survival. So it's uh, um, 
pretty good to see that the MIS is actually on par with the open approach um, with all studies there are limitations, although NCDB is a very robust, strong, and high quality database, there are chances of having uh, reporting errors and uh, uh, you always have to consider surgeon preference in terms of for open, uh, there's going to be um, a preference for larger tumors and for difficult to access tumor locations. Obviously the incision size, uh, you have to re remove that tumor, <laughs> it's a large tumor. Uh, so you can always do a fan and steel um, if you are doing an MIS approach. Uh, so that's something to consider. Uh, so our conclusions for MIS with GIST, we saw that it is being increased in utilization, especially for these GI cancers. And we also do see a prevalent, um, prevalency for MIS, uh, in particular for gastric just over small bowel. And we do see improved short-term outcomes for uh, MIS approach. And finally, it, MIS is comparable to open, especially in the difficult um, for larger tumor sizes or neoadjuvant tumors. Thank you.